I'm doing great. How about yourself? Good, good. Congratulations on your All-American honor, first of all. So that's, that's part of the question. How do you feel about that? And, and second, I want to ask you about Tommy Togiai, um, his progress, and, and you know, just how dominating has he been? What's been the biggest area of growth that you've seen him? Everyone knows how strong he is, but what else has he shown you this year? Um, you know, Tommy's a great player, you know, just including like me, we played again, we played behind great players and his growth is just his knowledge of the game. Um, and just like, uh, you're not, you're not guessing on what, what's coming, you know, he's in the film room, he's doing the extra work, uh, writing stuff down, taking great notes and paying attention in the meeting room and, you know, in the classroom and applying it on the field. So he, I think that's one of the greatest things that he's improved on this year and um, just more reps and becoming that leader on the, in the room. And Bill had asked, uh, how do you feel about your All-American honor for yourself as well? Oh, I'm really honored. You know, it's, it's not just me out there. It's a group of guys. And, you know, it's not just only my honor, but it's theirs too. Um, my success is their success and we share all success. And so um, those guys are my success and I'm really honored, but I'm more uh, focused on, you know, this game and winning this game. Next question will be Spencer Holbrook from Letterman Row. Haskell, when you watch a guy like Travis Etienne on film and trying to trying to stop the run game that you guys have been so successful with, what stands out about him and what makes him so di so difficult to bring down? You know, his just his vision. You know, his ability to see an open gap and hit it. Um, his ability to run downhill and he's a downhill runner. He's a very hard runner and he's fast. And so um, we got a great challenge. At, um, in front of us, and it's going to be a good game. Next up will be Tony Gerdeman from Buckeye Scoop. Well, <clears throat> given what happened to you earlier in the year, when you were just thinking about trying to get back to football, now you are named an All-American, and I realize you just wanted to talk about your team. But can you appreciate what you've done in the moment? Like, can you see yourself and appreciate what you've been able to do? Um, I can, but like I said, I'm just, I'm trying to stay in the moment. Um, I can celebrate all the accolades and everything that I've accomplished myself after the season, but I'm more worried about this team that we're playing and the game we got coming up on Friday. Got it. We'll now go to Brendan Gulick from Buckeyes Now. Hi, Haskell. It's kind of funny how this whole thing has come full circle back to Clemson again, almost exactly one year later considering all of the things the last 12 months that have gone counterintuitive is the fact that there really isn't a lot of time between the big 10 championship and the, the college football playoff semifinal, the, the fact that it's much shorter than normal. Do you think that helps you guys stay focused on, you know, prepping for the game rather than thinking about the big picture and having such a long lead up and all the different things that come along with that? Yeah, you know, um, it's a lot shorter time, you know, quicker turnaround to a bowl game. But I think I think it's it'll it'll help us. You know, um, we're more focused on this game, and you know, it's not a it's not a long period of waiting for the build up, waiting and constant practicing, practicing. You know, we're just getting on it and going now instead of you know having usually having a whole month of preparation, it's just, it's now. It's like something you would handle in the regular season. So I, I like it, to be so honest with you. Next up is Dan Hope from 11 Warriors. Hey Haskell, you weren't one of the players who was in the virtual senior day. Have you made a decision on whether you're gonna be back at Ohio State next year? No, I haven't. Um, I, I'm still debating that and that's, Again, something that I have to go over with um, myself and my family after the season. I'm just trying to stay in the moment and stay focused so I can um, contribute as much as I can to the team. We'll now go to Tim May from Letterman Row. Haskell, there's no no question. One of the one of the plays that got Clemson back into that game last year was Trevor Lawrence right up the middle and then swerving out left and scoring on a touchdown. How much is that? Uh, is that on y'all's mind from the standpoint of his ability to run? And how much would that uh, kind of play into you guys having to be a little bit cautious uh, coming through A and B gaps to make sure you don't overrun him, if you follow my drift? 
Mm -hmm. You know, we just got to play our game. Um, off season, we've, you know, really st stopped the run and um, we've prided ourselves on it. And I think that I feel that, you know, if we just play our game and play um, to our abilities and make sure we all do our jobs, um, stuff like that won't happen. We'll go to Patrick Murphy from 24-7 Sports. Michael, I know you just said you hadn't made your mind up about coming back or not, but the chance to, to play um, a major role as, as a senior in a college football playoff game with potentially going on to, to compete for a national championship, what would that mean for you, you know, taking into account everything that's happened, your four years here, all that, what, what would that mean to you to get through this game and play for a national title? Um, it would mean a lot. I feel like every kid as they're growing up is is to play in a national title, let alone go to college at a D1 school. So I think for me, it'll be a, a blessing and an honor. And everything I dreamed about as a kid and work, worked for leading up to this point, it would mean uh, the world to me. Next up is Whitney Harding from NBC4. Hey Haskell, I know you, we talked already about um, Trevor Lawrence's ability to run. At the same time, how important is it to get pressure on him while balancing that possibility he can take off? How hard, it, how about a good challenge is that for you guys? It's going to be a big challenge, uh, especially, you know, he's a dynamic quarterback. Uh, usually dudes who are that tall and that big, they don't really run, but like we know, the, jam the game is changing. And, you know, these quarterbacks are becoming dual, uh, dual threats. You know, he can do it on air and he can do it on, on the ground. So um, just being cautious of where he's at and what he's doing. He's a great player. And we're going to need to, you know, be aware that he can extend plays. Um, and if a play is broken down and there's good coverage, he's going to want to do it on his feet. And so we just got to be aware and um, be cautious of where he's at at all times. Now go to Sean Dunigan from WBNS. Hey, Haskell, is there anything that Clemson does differently up front on their offensive line that you don't see often in the Big Ten? Um, no, I I feel like, you know, they're, they're a great group. They gel together and they get the job done. They make sure that they do their job and they do it very well. And that's why they have so much success. And um, I know that there's uh, young guys that have stepped up and that just shows the leadership in the room. And so I, I think that, um, you know, there hasn't, there's nothing that they do different than anybody else. I just think that they play, you know, great football and they're very assign assignment sound. And our final question will come from Austin Ward from Letterman Row. Haskell, when you look at the way uh, you've elevated your game this year, is there something that you can, you can point to that's helped fuel that? What are you doing differently, you know, than maybe those first three years? You know, the first three years, it's, it was really um, being humble and being a sponge in the room, uh, gathering all the knowledge from all the guys. Um, like I've told you throughout the season, you know, um, there's great athletes um, ahead of me, great D tackles and great DNs and, um, when you're in a room full of talent, you know, sometimes some talent gets passed up. But um, for me, it was really just seizing the opportunity, um, knowing that those three years playing behind those guys um, prepared me for this moment. And um, I feel like the, the only thing that I can really say that I've enhanced this year is really my knowledge of the game, um, knowing the whole defense in its entirety. Um, and knowing, you know, who's behind me and, and um, what coverage we're in so that I can um, play, play fast and um, anticipate instead of react. Thank you very much for your time this afternoon. We'll let you get back to your preparations for the game and look forward to seeing you in New Orleans in a few days. Thank you.